It's a kind of a unique job. And I've worked on other power plants in the past. This one was different. It's in a very small kind of contained site. Unit 3 was commissioned in 1974. It had a maximum output of 460 megawatts. Unit 3 used once through cooling, which was eliminated in 2010 by the State Water Board. To meet regulatory requirements, we decommissioned Unit 3. This is the first project that LADWP has demolished a full power plant in about 60 years. We wanted to set the standard as high as we could and make sure that they were satisfied with their final product. TRC submitted a competitive bid. We know they can do the job and we like the resume of each key player within their organization. Because we are an environmental engineering firm as well as a construction management firm, we have the ability to run these projects turnkey from the initial assessment, which we did in-house for the regulated and hazardous materials, all the way through the completion of demo. Not a lot of contractors can offer that full turnkey service and professional construction management. TRC is, uh, has the role of the program manager here, so they have a big plate to fill. They were responsible for our work area, for areas that we didn't have in our scope, they had to handle. These are highly complex projects. They take the coordination of a lot of team subcontractors, a lot of players, as well as interface with the operating facility. We spent about two weeks with about 15 people going over the plant from top to bottom, determining all the regulated materials and asbestos. That was followed up by the actual asbestos and lead abatement and removal of the hazardous and regulated materials, as well as all the industrial cleaning of the tanks. Once that was completed, we mobilized our demo contractors, and since then we've been working on tearing down Unit 3. Initially, it seemed like there was no progress being made. Next thing you know, Unit 3 is gone. The job had a stack on it that was a couple of hundred feet tall, and we had to devise a way to take the stack down safely and quickly. We put up a tripod structure. Using that, we were able to take the stack down in 20 ton pieces versus, say, 2,000 pound pieces. It's interesting to see things come apart. What was most impressive was the surgical removal of a lot of components of Unit 3. We saw a lot of experts doing their job safely and efficiently. Safety starts with me at the top. It starts with the attitude of the entire crew. And we've tried to portray that from the very beginning. We've gone over 50,000 man hours to date without an OSHA recordable injury, and we've had three minor first aid incidents. For the type of work we're doing, that's a pretty amazing safety record. I can't commend my own team enough. Our subcontractors have all gotten along. They've had to you know, work around each other very tight quarters. If you look behind me now with the plant mostly gone, you don't see how tight it was. But trying to take down a power plant in about an acre and a half of space with an operating unit right next to it is very, very difficult. With TRC, we developed uh, a demolition plan which sought to minimize any impacts to the rest of the plant. I've been doing environmental remediation and construction for the last 33 years. This is one of the most complex projects I've had to work on with such a tight footprint and tight schedule. We're very proud of the way we've been able to accomplish safety out here. We've also been able to accomplish our schedule milestones as, as we planned. This job is very time critical to the LADWP due to they want to repower at this facility. And so getting this power plant out of the way allows them to go on with construction afterwards. Things have gone so well. We've learned a lot. TRC and DWP collaborated efficiently. We minimized impacts to the plant, and the job went very well. It's been a very successful project.